So Roy, I read your blog this morning. You seem to think you know a lot about the NHS. My blog. So tell me, what's the average life expectancy of a male in this country? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's a lot longer than it was, of course. It must be, I don't know, 70 something. I don't know, Bruce. What is it? Do you know? Do you know? <laughs> yeah, it's 78.9 years. That's just over a decade longer than it was at the inception of the NHS. 78.9. Yeah, that means I've got 8.9 years left to carry on annoying the NHS. Only if you're lucky, Roy. <laughs> so you did so well on that one. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's try another. What proportion of the working age population work for the NHS? Uh, everybody. I don't know. Uh, it's one. Is it 1.3 million people? I know that. So though Simon Stevens seems to have taken care of some of that number. Um, I don't know. What? I don't know. It's one in 23, Roy. One in 23. Okay, big cheese. Let me ask you a question. Uh, how many? <laughs> how many cups of builders' tea are drunk every day in this country? A cup of builders. You know? No, quite a, quite a few are drunk in the comms department of NHS England. Um, but I'm struggling. <laughs> beyond, they're not listening. I'm yeah. struggling beyond that, Roy. Well, it's a very important fact. It's 165 million cups of builders are drunk every day half of which are drunk when they're reading my blog. Yeah, so how do I know that's true? Uh, would I lie to you, Bruce? It was in your blog. If you don't get this, it's the end of your career, Bruce. You must know the answer to this. How many people went to A&E last year? Well, I know that. Go on then. 22.4 million, Roy. Blimey. I have to check. Are you sure? Yeah. You want to change your mind? No. Can I phone a friend? Higher, no. <laughs> higher? Lower? What do you think? Actually, you're spot on. 22.364 million. Actually, if you want to be pedantic. Yeah, so I was just rounding it up. Yes, I know. I understand. Yeah. Uh, and interestingly enough, that, that that's the equivalent. Uh, it's gone. In, in the last 10 years, attendances have gone from the equivalent of the population of Cairo, which is in Egypt, Bruce. It's a long oh, way away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and to treating the equivalent population of Delhi. Where's that? But, uh, that's in India. Oh, thanks. Good. Right. Yeah. But that's a hell of a lot, isn't it? It's a big jump. It's a massive jump. Mm. And actually that puts real challenges on our, um, on our healthcare system. Yeah. So we need to think of new ways of delivering our A&E services. Yeah, we just need to build more A&Es. I mean, I know we've had a laugh about the facts and all that, but there are, there are some fabulous facts in the NHS. I mean, you know, it's not just the scale, the volumes. I mean, they are fabulous facts. There are a load of fabulous facts, Roy. Right? I mean, it, it's not just about the NHS, but it's about the whole of our kind of scientific and healthcare environment. So. Yeah, what were you saying about um, uh, Nobel Prize winners that you said earlier? What was that about? Well, if, if you look at the number of Nobel Prize winners for medicine or physiology, we have twice as many per capita of population yeah. than our nearest competitor, which is the United States. But we're responsible for a whole bunch of really good things that have made a major contribution yeah. to global medicine. Do you know, I, I, think, I think we should do... Uh, and I can run you a list of those. Yeah, things. but I, unfortunately, you know, yeah, we haven't gotten to a crystal. No, I am interested, but that's the problem. There are too many. I, I mean, what, just talking to you about this, what, what I think we should do with the Academy of Fabulous Stuff is to have a, a fabulous fact page. Yeah. We have a fabulous fact page. We shall have, uh, I don't know, Fabulous Fact Friday. And we'll push out your know, Uncle Bruce's fabulous fact. But uh, So we can do that. But more importantly, I think it would be a great idea uh, if we got people out there to send us their fabulous facts. Because I know there's things going on that are fabulous, you know, in terms of numbers and achievement that we don't know about. I think that's absolutely right, Roy. And I think to get people to submit their facts would be fantastic because there's so much good stuff going on that I think either gets forgotten or remains unknown. And it's really important for the people working in the NHS, for all of us actually, to realise how much good stuff is going yeah. on because sometimes in the heat of battle you can forget that. Yeah, there's a lot to be proud of. Okay, Huge so amount. let's agree. We'll have Fabulous Fact Friday. We'll host it on the Academy and um, we'll invite people to send us their facts. Great idea. It's a deal. Done. Thank Thanks, you. Roy. Well done. See you on Fabulous Friday.